Hello once again, here for another tour of the Mine Time server. This time I figured we'd have a wee look inside the transport system that we've built inside the nether and use that to go and have a look at some other uh, some other builds. So first step, into the nether. And we've got a little hut here. Uh, there's a few ways you can go. This way is towards the end portal. And this way is towards a few different builds. And there's more stuff down that way. You'll notice that we've created these little corridors. Um, this is to stop the gas being able to shoot at us while we're just trying to move around the place. And you can actually... Curious little glitch with ice in Minecraft, although it creates a lot of lag is that you can jump if you're sprinting jump and when you hit your head off the ceiling you move faster so uh, let's go there actually this is going to show you a little village that we came across fairly early on after building our main um, our main base and so rather than do what we did last time and just move in and take everything over we uh, decided to just let it be assist a little bit. Built a portal up here. So there's villagers roaming around and iron golems. And of course you can you can trade with the villagers. They all want various things. Yeah. Things I don't have. Yeah, it's all stuff I don't have at the minute. And I never bother trading with them because their trades are ridiculously expensive. I don't even... Leather pants. He wants two emeralds for leather pants. I could kill a couple of cows and have enough leather for leather pants. And instead, he wants two emeralds, which are really difficult to come across. We did have a big pile of lava in a glass container sitting here uh, until someone on the server decided to come in and hack away a bit of the glass. When we came to the village we realised half of it was on fire. So this tree has been planted in memorial. Ooh, a death chest. This stuff that people have dropped when they've died here. And up we go. And there's a big chunk of glowstone on top of there. I wonder if that's hollow. I wonder if I can dig some of that out. And there's the Skynet entrance, which I showed you in the last video, the route to get here. There's a little mine shaft down there and a waste of a block of emerald and some water. But yeah, this is the the village. It's smack bang in the middle of the desert with a snowy biome there and doesn't make much sense what does in this game out not the best way to get down but hey just one have I ever done things the right way and so let's we'll go back up and we'll show you somewhere else back up the way we came. So, heading now this way, wow frame rate drop, heading this way now is towards Ryan's constructions. We have Prime Island, which I'll go and show you. So Ryan's first area that he made when he joined the server. And that, that chicken is always there. Every single time. Prime, it's on fire. And somewhere around here, Dave has written penis in dirt or cobble or whatever. Yeah, John left him some gifts. How nice.
and there's a mine underneath. It's just a fairly nice little area. But I shall take you to Prime Island 2, which is a lot more interesting. Now this hasn't yet been made into a corridor, and there's a ghast, and he's trying to kill me! And I am fleeing! Need to get this sorted. Yeah, that's a ghast fireball. They're really powerful, and they set everything on fire. and they destroy all the surrounding blocks. You can shoot the gas like that. Okay. We're safe. Hate those things. I was farming for glowstone once and three of those things descended on me. It was not a fun time. Right. There's some weird redstone circuitry under here that turns lights on and off as you wander past. I don't really know why. But then perhaps the answer is, why not? And this is under construction. Ryan does like his glass. You don't need to worry about lighting up glass actually because mobs can't spawn on glass so this area would be completely safe even if it was pitch black. A bed on a pedestal. Because why not? Ow. And there's more mine down there. Don't really know what his plan for this area is. Maybe we'll never know. Um, hmm, there used to be a switch up here. And the dispenser used to have stuff in it. Ryan has also built a dock, part of which is submerged. And there's a trap door there. This is a nice little area here. I like this bit. But the coolest part is the underwater entrance to the mine. And this must have taken some planning to build. But it's pretty cool. As you can see, it's a mine. A mine shaft. And I hear a slime going splat, splat, splat. And now, how do I get out of here? Up, 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 up. Up. Not that way. Oh, okay. Maybe this way. No, I guess I can get out this way if I can. Oh, for God's sake. How hard is it to jump in this game? I thought I saw a monster over there. Ryan doesn't get a huge amount of time on the server. He doesn't log as much time as any of the rest of us. Um, which is probably why there's not a huge amount to see here. What I am going to do now is I'm going to show you the end. Now, if anyone has not been to the end yet in Minecraft, basically, um, that takes a lot of very rare items to reinstate the portals. And they're quite difficult to find as well. I think there's maybe one per one, a couple per server, maybe? When you get to the end, you're attacked by a big dragon and a lot of endermen. And now as well, there's also a new mob, the Wither, which is a real pain in the butt to fight. I really don't want to do that. So here we go. We'll go over to the end portal. You have to go 
out of the nether to get to the end portal and then back in. Well, not back into the nether, but into the end. The advantage of travelling in the nether is that for every block you travel in the nether, you travel eight blocks over land. So you're actually travelling much quicker. It's a good way of getting from two, getting between two points really, really quickly. Right. Uh, we had, for our first encounter with the dragon, we had this all set up. Chests where we could arm ourselves with and dump stuff we didn't want to carry. Ender pearls, potions, and the like. Some enchanted bows, power one. Ooh, some arrows in there. I'll take a couple of stacks of those because I'm running low. Although I've got an infinity bow at the minute, so it doesn't really matter. And everyone claimed a bed. And where's where's this go? Excuse the detour. I don't think I do not believe I've been this way. Ooh, hello. Oh, of course. This is the area where the end portal was discovered. A lot of coal in the ceiling. In some... What the... Could have sworn I heard something. Yeah, there's like a temple of sorts around here. There's zombies. But what we're interested in is underground. So let's go. Back down, back down, back down. Sorry for the detour, folks. Okay, and into the end. Taking mine, take mine carts to the end. Oh, there's none in there. Okay, in we go. Now we've tamed the end, so to speak. As you can see, there's a lot of endermen around. It's quite dark. The skybox is all weird. Up there is where we fought the ender dragon and these endermen shouldn't be able to hit us even if I enrage them they shouldn't be able to get in here Ooh, hello. they're still creepy as all hell those things still terrify me but the best section is down here Get in a minecart. Once he actually decides to sit in the minecart. He's not quite. There's a weird glitch here where your guy doesn't quite sit in the minecart properly. Maybe he is sitting properly now. Yeah, he is. Okay. And we head down this way. John and Sarah did all the construction on this. You've got your mob spawners, you've got your skeleton spawners, and here we have an enderman spawner. This is the single best way we have to get experience at that and ender pearls. Basically, walk in and just smack them around. Same concept as the other mob spawner. They fall so far that it takes off most of their health. And so you can finish them off in one hit. And they're blocked off so they can't hit you. And to show you just how good this is at getting us bits and pieces, all these ender pearls, all of them, so many chests full of the bloody things. It'll go all the way down here. It's actually gotten to the stage now where most of the times when I come down here I just I fill my inventory with junk 
so I don't have to carry any ender pearls. I'm fed up with picking them up. Ah, oh, yay! Space for ender pearls! And so I might take some of that. I might get some powered rail for my uh, my railway. I need it. I need it. Bone meal and carrots. There's a whole load of water up there, as you can tell from the from it pissing through the ceiling. Same way. Dispense minecart. Travel. Ah, Heavy C89, whoever that is. Ah, it's John. It must be his camera mod. Ah, yes. John will be getting a uh, camera flyby of the world just to show people from above. And it says hello YouTube. Yeah, various bits of scaffolding, casualties from the war against the Ender Dragon. This is where we fought the Wither. Come on. There we go. Minecart in there. Back into this. There's a credit sequence. I'm not going to show you that. And we're back at my spawn point, which is the stadium. Which, to give you a quick status update, I've done one more little thing to it since you last saw it. Start to build this stand. That's about it. Right. Well, that was the Nether Prime Islands and the end. Thanks all for watching, and I will see you for the next instalment.